today's video is predominantly about my um, turbo burns, my Kyosho turbo burns. You can see before you that it's in this condition, so I've done the work at this point, but we'll go through the video in a minute um, and I'll show you what I've and how I got to what I've how I got to this stage. But before we get onto this video, I'm just going to do a quick update on the Traxxas Nitro Fortec. So that's going to be next, just for a few minutes, and then we'll go back onto this. So, hello, Nitro fans, Racing 393. Now, although this video is going to be about my um, Kyosho Burns 4x4, I'm going to start off with this. So I've finished prepping this now. Um, what turned out to be a fairly simple task ended up highlighting there's another another cock up on this. Not that I did, but someone else. So I don't know if you remember, but um, this wheel moved sort of in and out. This one didn't, and there was a bit of movement on here. Now, the first problem of that I'm not going to take it apart now. It was a bit of a, it was a bit of a nightmare anyway. So clearly these hubs, they run two bearings. So first off, hands up. Yeah, I forgot I, the inner one, the inner bearing. I forgot to put on. Now there may have been a reason for that at the time, which I didn't um, sort of overlooked. But basically, the inner bearing didn't fit. It wouldn't push in hard enough. So I'm guessing. Maybe I was gonna look at it and, and forgot, but whoever had the car before, clearly you can see that from inside the hub, ran it without a bearing. If it did have a bearing, it put an, a hell of a lot of strain onto this this uh, drive shaft. Now, also bearing in mind that this is the drive shaft which I replaced. Um, it would go in, the bearing wouldn't sit flush inside the hub, but Lo and behold, over time, I'm guessing that that put a lot of pressure on this and snapped the union or the UJ. I'm guessing that's what's happened. Um, and they, I think they have tried to drill out the inner part of this hub, like the, um, the recess which the bearing sits, but they've, they've made a complete cock up of that. So I've, I've smoothed it off in there. There was a bit of uh, residue in there of plastic. Taking it off, put a bearing in there now, which I did forget first time. It goes in, shaft on, now it's done. So there's no... Um, there's no movement there. Uh, all good. Um, so it's all done now, really, this. Uh, the only other thing was, if you know these cars, they've got a two-speed and there's an adjustment grub screw here. Well, it's not, it might not be actually there, but where I'm pointing, but it, it is, it's kind of at that point there. Well, that grub screw, lo and behold, wasn't in there. So I put another one in, I've got some grub screws, which leads me on to uh, the Kyosho, but I put a grub screw in there, it's the same size it would seem. I'm pretty sure they're going at an angle, more of an angle if I remember rightly. So they, they don't go down like that, I think I might actually put it down like that, but when you do it up, I think it tightens up them springs, so it changes gear later. I believe when I tried this, it was changing gear quite early, which ain't a bad thing. But now I've messed around and put a grub screw in there. Maybe it won't work now. I don't know. But I have put one in. I have wound it in, but not far. The way it's got to go in, it's got to go in more. You know, if that's a round there, it has to go in at more of that angle. I will need to look at that. I can, t I can take it out if I've mucked it up. But it does go in. We'll try it next time we take this out. But this really, this video is not really about this car i just thought i'd add this because it might be it might interest some of you um but it's all done um there is a video now of the shell all completed which is here actually it's something i will show you a bit of a faux pas with the rear wing it's on there now but i covered it with like carbon fiber stickers or sheet, so it is on there. It is covered. It's not very well. It will come apart. I'm guessing, you know, it's screwed to the shell, and it might be a tad high, but it looks alright, as you can see there. But 
Anyway, that's it. That's that. The, um, I don't know if you saw the door mirrors, but they are on there. As you can see, and I put a little bit of silver around with the exhaust goes, just for, just for why not? Other than that, it just looks better. And it's got some black on the real car. It had some black on the seals, and I've just put some black tape on there. Anyway, so that's that, and there you have it. So that's that's all now done and ready to rock and roll. So we'll be taking that out uh, very soon. Um, and we're going to do a little bit of a head to head. Um, I'll leave it there. I'll let you uh, like and subscribe and hit the notifications. Um, not sure when I'll do it yet. It won't be long. I mean, the weather is nice here now in the UK. So, uh, yeah, so that will be out uh, again to try it with the shell on, mess around the two speed, uh, take that grub screw out if I've mucked it up. A little bit of tuning, make it uh, maybe um, it needs to run a little bit weaker, a little bit more lean, get some performance out of it, and then we'll go head to head with another one of my cars. So, on to the main reason for this video. So, the main reason of this video is of this Kyo show. Now, I'll try and show you some close ups. An engine is in it, but it's not in it, <laughs> it is bolted into a point. It's fairly solid, but yeah, there's a lot of work to be done with the engine sort of mounting system, which you can't really see. Um, I've also got some down there, some grub screws, which I'm going to now put into the diffs. Uh, the two, the front and rear diff. So one goes there, one will go there, the back. I also believe what, it's the same thread, same size grub screw that fits the center diff. So we can fit the grub screw in the diffs, front and rear, and then put some grease in there. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, I'll try and show you as much of that as I can. So there's the diff, and you can probably see, um, to move it a little bit. I've got some silicon on there because it stops the oil coming out and emptying the center diff, uh, the, the planet wheel, sorry. Um, but I'm gonna try and put a grub screw in there should fit. Um, I'll show you when that's uh, installed. I mean, if anything, it's a fairly simple task, but we you know what simple tasks end up. So that's relatively easy. That has gone in. Uh, you can see there that it's in there. If you do it up too tight, or do it up tight, you can lock the diff or make it tighter, but I haven't done it up super tight. I've just done it up and backed off a bit. But it has gone in, that's good. So we're gonna, I'll get some grease in a minute. We'll do the back one first. And we'll do the centre one. The centre one, uh, I'm just trying to look at it now as I film and move. Yeah, I believe is on that, um, there's a little notch at the top there. Can you see that there, sort of, at the top? So I'm going to put one in there, I'm going to put one in the back. And I'm going to show you the grease I'm putting in. So that's all done. Uh, grub screw in the back. Centre shaft, centre diff's done, and the front diff's done. So that should keep the oil that I've put in the diff, the thick diff oil, in the planet sort of area of the diff. They were bone dry um, when I took them apart. So I'm gonna put a little bit of grease in the front and rear diff areas. I'm just gonna use this. This is quite a, this is for uh, like CV joints and things and sliding and it says reciprocating movements, applications where high solid content is required. I think that would be fine in there. Um, you can kind of hear that. A lot of that is the meshing of the front, the center uh, spur and the pinion, because this engine's got to go further forward. And we'll come back to that in a second. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put, so I won't, I'm gonna do that off camera as it were, because I don't want grease all over my ends and over my phone. So I'm just gonna put this in um, and I'll show you when I've done that. So that's all done. You can see I've done, I haven't loaded it all up too much. It uh, feels nice and smooth now. Got to put the lids on. And that, there's the back. So you can see the grease, so they just coated the teeth on there. All good. 
So I'm going to put the lids on um, and then I'm going to sort out the engine. I'm going to show you what I've got. Um, so the other thing I did, um, I've got another MP5 upstairs, which was um, it's refurbished. However, I don't remember this bit, but I'll try and show you if I can. The bottom arms, can you see? I don't know if I can zoom in. I'm not sure if it's going to allow me. It might do. Can you just see in there? That. So that's just below that. That there is a droop screw. It's not actually focusing on that. There we go. There you go. So that there is a droop screw. So the front bottom arms have one and the rear ones have two. Now there weren't, there's nothing on this car, but with that stainless steel um, replacement bolt set I had, it had them in it. Now I don't know if the MP5 I've got had them, probably wasn't looking for them. So they're in, it does sit slightly lower, but hence why I've got some bits here. So I've got some droop screws here, which I'm gonna try and show you there so hopefully they'll be okay to put in the other one actually they do fit this i think that's the right side they're slightly shorter if anything but they should be fine now the other thing to do i'm holding the camera so bear with me we've got if you look at where that pinion is um can you see that there so it doesn't match the spur so the engine does need to go forward slightly one of the things that needs to be done um, and what i've got here is i've got the other one sliding engine mounts so i'm going to put these on and see where i can get the engine in the right place whilst i'm doing that the um i'll see if i can show you this It'd be useful if i can um can you see the rear shafts the drive shafts or front and rear as we matter but there's a lot of movement. I can't, I'll sort of get in the wrong way here, but there's a lot of movement side to side. See that? So they can potentially come out. So I have bought some uh, bushings to go in, plastic urethane bushings. So I'm not specifically for this car, but I will, um, I'll put them on they're quite easy to do the front and rear to be honest with you um you sort of take the wheels off and then just undo one of the top up the top hub i'm gonna put them on um i think i might do them first actually because that means i can put it all back together and leave it and then we'll then we'll tackle the motor so i've done one side uh i'll try and zoom in a bit but that's the side i've done so it's got a Urethane bush each side, there's, there is a bit of spring there, but there's no movement. That one is the one I haven't done, or one of them. You can hear that, can you? So definitely better. So I'm gonna do the other three, um, and then I'm going to come back and show you what else I'm planning to do. So that's the drive shafts done. The fronts were uh, CVDs, no, CVJs. So right in a minute. Uh, so the end towards the wheels are constant velocity joint uh, and it's a dog bone on the inner part. I don't know whether the backs are supposed to be like that and, they, and someone's changed them. But they're dog bones each side on the rear and the front are uh, constant velocity joints on the wheel end and a, a dog bone towards the gearbox. So they, they only needed uh, two of those spaces. So that's tightened them up nicely. The front, I think the... the um, centre shafts don't need anything from memory so there's a little bit of movement uh, perhaps they could do with it but i'm not gonna take that centre diff off just yet because that was a bastard to put on i'm not doing it not today so onwards and upwards we're gonna try and fit the engine so it's fitted it won't just end there, but if I can get that um, spur gear um, lined up, it would be good. I could do with a steel spur gear, that's a plastic one, so I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. This is a Roto Start version of one of these engines, and you can get 
it's in between, sort of, you can see it there. I should be able to get a shaft in there to sort of roto start it, I would think. Uh, if not, I might be able to do it with the starter box on that. Anyway, that's miles off yet, because I'm, I'm going to hopefully get this fitted, or well, partly on this video. Um, I don't intend to go too far, but I'll, I'll try and get it so it's lined up, because the engine plates are going to take a while. So they're the, the plates that those engine mounts are bolted onto, there's a bit of a makeshift. I think that side, the other side's okay. I've got to sort out a solution for this side. So part of this video is going to be trying to mount the engine in so it's aligned with the spur. And then I've got another kit to show you when I've finished. Well, it's not a kit, it's a second hand nitro. So I'm going to show you that when I'm done. So that's the engine mount put on. That's just they're not fully where they're definitely going to go. There's some more work to do, but the spur gear and the pinion or the drum clutch bell line up. Uh, they're not tight, so that's fine. Uh, this is on. It's on, but this this engine plate on the left of the engine there is not bolted down. So I've got to drill a hole in the chassis, which I'll probably do now. That one, the other side's got a bolt snapped off in it. So I need to try and sort that out. That's going to be a bit tricky. And then I've got to trim just the uh, header off here, which I'll take off and do that in a minute. And then we can mount the exhaust where it needs to go. So it's only very slightly needs to be shortened. So I can put a rubber uh, join between. So my next thing is for now, I'm just going to drill the chassis um, there. It's already got a hole and then put a nut and bolt on there, which I've already got. And you can see the other side. I'm going to leave that for now. Um, yeah, so it actually looks, looking underneath, it looks like a bit of a mishmash for people to put other mounts on there, I suppose, but it is on there and it is all in. So, uh, so far, so good. And then once that's there, as it's going to be the motor I'll properly use, we can cut the shell so we can fit the shell on there. And then we're going to strip this down. There'll be a separate video for that. Uh, strip it all the way down, uh, see what we're faced with, put it all back together. Um, and then, yeah, then it's going to be another sort of mission of the... Um, the tank. Now I've got a rubber grommet in there, that's not the one that came with it, but I need a, a standoff that goes in a pickup, which I'll, I've got an idea what I can do for that, so it's not a massive problem. Yeah, success, kind of. So that all seems to be done as much as I can do today. Um, so, Engines in. It's not. It's ninety. Everything's ninety-five percent, but it is ninety-five percent. It's, it's got a, drilled down there. I've got to drill that hole out. But that's actually on a steel snapped-off screw that was in there before. It's all. It's in there. It's mounted. I've cut this down. Um, might not use that. What I put on there, but it's on there for now. It holds it on fairly secure. Um, there is, about, there is a bit of movement here uh, with the manifold, but it's all right. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with that. I've just got to do the other mount just to make sure. And then I might try and drill that tomorrow. I won't film that. And then I'll probably cut the shell, fit the body shell around this. And then the next video will be stripping this motor down just to see my findings. Um, and then do a final install. By then I should have something for the tank. It's an original tank. Um, these tires are perished. I have sort of been messing around with them. So they are knackered. So I might need to source. I've got some original. Uh, MP5 wheels and tyres, brand new, so they, they can pretty go on for now. 
but I could do with some tires that fit these wheels because these wheels are in good condition. Just got to take the tires off. Um, got some longer bolts for here and I've got some C-clips that go on there. One's missing. Then, once I've got the fuel system sorted, engine rebuilt, I'll probably fit a servo, or a couple of servos, switch, receiver, and then it can start to be, fire this son of a bitch up. But that's it for now. But before I go, let me show you something else I bought. So I bought this. This is a Kyosho Inferno DX. So this was kind of the middle of the road model back in the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s. Um, this is in pretty good condition, but this is kind of like the, the less performance one. Um, but it is in super condition. It's all original. It's pretty much like the one I'm building, but the next one up. Yeah, so we'll have a closer look at it whilst I've got it here, but I'll go for a more detailed look when we get it running. It is complete, less electrics. So the wing just unclips. I'm gonna take the shell off. Not sure the make of the engine, it was in the advert, but this, it's a pull start, you can see there. That body shell will need trimming because it is difficult to get on and off. But it is essentially the same as what I've got. Um, it's probably a bit cleaner, uh, newer condition. It's laid out completely different. This is where the tank goes now on this side, but it's the same fuel tank. So it's got that rubber grommet in there. And this tube is the one I want. Um, I need to sort this out and go over it, see what it's like. Uh, but it is essentially set up the same. Uh, it's in pretty good condition. Don't know about, uh, you can see it is different, uh, laid out different with the sort of the, the way that this, the shocks are done and the towers. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's got dog bones on the front. I wonder what the back is then. And dog bones on the back. So I think there was an element of making it a little bit cheaper, a little bit more accessible. It's got good quality wheels and tires on. I could use this on my car. Um, it, it, it all seems pretty good if I'm honest. Um, it is slightly laid out differently here. Um, but yeah, it's all good. We're all Kaya showed out. So that's the one I bought. We'll do a video on that one soon. The one I'm working on. So a little more work to do on that one. And then we're gonna get that one out soon. We've been, we've been out, like get that one out properly. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Um, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification so you can get notified when we get these ones out, uh, other nitros, so on and so forth. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.